The New Jersey gubernatorial election is next week, and the race is tightening between the two candidates. Democratic Governor Phil Murphy is seeking his second term in office. He's up against Republican businessman and former state legislator Jack Cettarelli. For more on the race, I want to bring in Christine Johnson from our New York station, WCBS. She sat down with both men to discuss their candidacy and the issues they are fighting for. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Great to see you. With the recent national attention on abortion rights, it has also come up as an important issue for New Jersey voters as they choose their next governor. What did both candidates tell you about their plans regarding abortion rights? Well, this is one stance, Tanya, where they definitely have their differences. Currently, right now in the New Jersey legislature, there's a bill. It's called the Reproductive Freedom Act. If passed, this would not only make abortions legal in New Jersey, but it would also provide free birth control. It would also require insurance companies to pay for these procedures. And finally, it would also ease some restrictions on the timeline that the woman could get a, um, an abortion and also where and who can perform these procedures. Now, Governor Murphy is hinging uh, his, his, you know, his, his belief in the women's right uh, to choose. And he says that he will definitely sign this bill in its current state. This is what he told me. All right. So with the Trump appointees to the U.S. Supreme Court, the decision they've already taken in Texas and the expectation of decisions they will take going forward, all of those freedoms are at risk. So the big point here is we have to put this in the statute into a law that I will sign. Um, so my, as you rightfully point out, uh, this is uh, among, if not our highest priority after the election. Uh, and I want this to be as strong and as robust as possible. Uh, this should be a decision, as sober or somber as it is, entirely left between a woman and her doctor, uh, period. And, and we're committed to getting this thing done uh, as soon as we can. Mr. Cettarelli, on the other hand, um, he does believe that women do have a right to an abortion. There are some ads airing um, right now in New Jersey that state that he does not support that. He says that that is false. However, he does believe there need to be restrictions in place. Here's what he said. I've never advocated for overturning Roe v. Wade. I don't think the Roberts Court is going to overturn it, uh, but if it does, I will always protect the woman's right to choose here in New Jersey. I do believe there should be restrictions, and we can certainly talk about those, restrictions that I think are very reasonable, very mainstream. The science says that the, um, the developing baby is viable after five months. Uh, the science says the developing baby feels pain uh, after five months during an abortion. So I, I think we should look to restrict abortion after five months. I think we should have parental notification. I've yet to find a single parent across the state, Republican or Democrat, that wouldn't want to know if their teenage daughter was pregnant and seeking an abortion. So here's the catch, Tanya. After doing some reading and some research, this bill in its current state does not seem to have the support from legislative leaders um, at the New Jersey um, State House. They are now talking about a pared down version whether or not Governor Murphy will sign that pared down version, if in fact that comes to fruition, is still to be determined. Mm, all right. And Christine, COVID, of course, is still a major issue across the country. And in New Jersey, Governor Murphy has mandated vaccines for certain groups like hospital workers and state employees. If he wins, does he plan to expand the mandates? And does Cetarelli agree with how Governor Murphy has handled the pandemic so far? Well, he has said that people need to be vaccinated, particularly in those situations that you mentioned and also in schools. However, he did say if you're not vaccinated, um, they are mandatory weekly testing. So unlike New York, they didn't say you're going to lose your job if you don't get vaccinated. So he has stayed somewhat in the middle of the road there. Listen, he's gotten high marks um, throughout this um, situation with COVID. Overall, his ratings are high. Um, he has had some issues with his restrictions early in COVID being too harsh. About one third of small businesses have closed as a result. And then also there's that mark um, on, his, uh, on his record as well with the nursing home situations and the deaths close to um, 8,000 deaths in New Jersey, nursing homes and long-term care facilities. So his um, critics will point out those three main issues. Um, but he says he's not going to require vaccines. He feels as though that things in the state right now are, are faring pretty well. 
we think where we are right now uh, is a good place, which is requiring state workers, educators, uh, et cetera, to get vaccinated, if not face multiple tests a week. Masking is mandated in our school buildings. That does not bring me any joy, but that's clearly the right thing we need to do, at least for now, and I hope that's not forever and for always. But we have always kept every option on the table. So if things do get worse, those infection rates, he says he still has that option. Cedarelli, on the other hand, he says he's vaccinated. He does um, personally wear a mask, but he doesn't believe that that needs to be mandated. He feels as though that people should be educated and they should have the right to choose. Here's what he said. And when your ICU units are at full capacity in all 71 of our hospitals, I think a governor has to do what a governor has to do to promote, preserve, protect the public health and safety. So depending on the circumstances, we'll always do right by New Jerseyans. Uh, I'm not going to ever mandate vaccines. I'm not going to do that. I don't think government has a right to tell people they have to take a vaccine. So he will not manage, mandate vaccines, but he also chooses um, the right to change his mind when it comes to restrictions with masks. It sounds as though he does agree with Murphy there. All right. Well, Christine Johnson, thank you so much uh, for sharing your work on those interviews with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Tanya. Good to see you.